Use case number 29. As soon as an account record is restored from the recycle bin, update its name and prefix it with restored. So restored would be the keyword for every account record that we restore from the recycle bin. Right. So this is a case of undeleting a record. So which means you might have deleted a record which has moved to the recycle bin. It stays there for the next 15 days and within that time span if you want to restore it, you can restore the record by going to the record and clicking restore. And when you do that, there is a trigger event that fires. Now that event is called the undelete event. Right. Now the important question would be what context should it be before or after? So with undelete events, there is no before undelete. Right. Because you never know when you will be undeleting it. So the context is not available. It's only after you basically click on the button is you know that you have undeleted something. So the only event available in undelete uh, context is basically the after undelete option. Right. So we'll go into the after undelete context and write something on the account trigger. So this should be on the account trigger and the event should be account after undelete. So let's go to developer console and let's open the account trigger. Right. So we have the account trigger and I have the account trigger handler. I'll just open both the files and I'll show you how do you re restore a record. So let's open an account record first of all. So I can go to accounts and I can open this particular account let's say and I say delete. Right. So as soon as I delete it, this record is not available in our list views. So, but if I have to take a look, see, there's an undo option available. But if I were to take you to the recycle bin, you will see that this record has been dumped there. So, you see, this is the account record that has been deleted by Himanshu on today's date. Right. If I want to restore it, I just say click and I say restore. Or I can even go to the carrot icon and say restore, which means you are triggering the undelete event. And after you undelete it is when you want to set the value and update the name as restored account name. Okay. So that's what we'll be doing. So I'll go ahead into account trigger handler and I'll put a method. You generally don't use this event a lot, but it is important to know because this is one of those events that you have available. So I'll say list of new records, right? So this is again trigger.new, which is available. I'll just save this and I'll call it from my trigger file. So now I'll have to add one event that is basically after undelete. Save. Okay. And I'll copy this section right here and put it at the end. And I'll say if it is after and it is undelete. Save. What method do I want to call? I want to call the handle after undelete method. Save. Okay. So the framework is ready. What do we need to do now is basically from this new records, we want to update the name and put a restored keyword on front of it. Right now with undelete, I'll just try our normal way. I'll say for each account that has come in new records. Now understand this is the after event, right? In after event, you have this as a read only context. You cannot update on top of it, right? So we'll have to query the records. We cannot use the new records and you can simply just say, you know, account dot uh, name equals restored plus account dot name. If I do that and if I update my list here, let's say if I update my account list, considering this list contains all these accounts, this will give me an exception because I am already in the after context and these records are in read only mode. So it will not let me update it. It will throw an exception. So what do we do? We basically have to query all our account records. So I'll say list of account accounts to update equals select ID comma name from account where id in right so here i need to ensure that i have all the record id so i'll say for each account acc in new records account ids dot add acc dot id right and i'll just create a list of id that would be called acc ids save and I'll take this particular IDs and I'll say ID in this particular keyword and say save. This should save a fine, right? And now I can use this particular list and I can say for each account in accounts to update acc.name equals restored space 
and then whatever is the name of the record cool and I'll just add account to update dot add ACC save and I'll say if account to update is not empty insert sorry it should be update ACC to update list save this should be not not empty first of all and this list has to be defined so I'll just define one more list and this would be called account to update this would be of type account now this should save up without errors let's see yeah no errors cool so let's go here and let's restore this record now so I'll just say restore right so the restore has worked and if I open accounts and I take a look at all my records you notice that there's a record that has just been restored and it has the keyword restored in front of it this is our account record which has been restored and that has basically given you the name but updated with the prefix restored so that's how you use an undelete event and it is only available in the after context cool so that was use case number 29